Hello everyone, I hope you find yourself having a great day. Uh, this is going to be an example uh, of how to install the Nitro Blast plugin for Cinema 4D under Windows 7. It's very straightforward, so let's get started. We've got two folders uh, in regards to Nitro Blast. We've got Nitro Blast, which is a plugin, and then we've got uh, the Nitro Blast styles, which are the uh, attributes for you know, using the Nitro Blast plugin. We'll start by opening up uh, Windows Explorer. Navigate to your program files directory where you have Cinema 4D installed then go into Maxon directory and then under the version of Cinema 4D which you have installed. For this example we're going to use R13. So go into that directory and look for your plugins folder. We're going to expand that out and we're going to copy the Nitro Blast folder to that plugins directory. Alright, I already had it there so we're just going to replace that. Alright, so now that that's done, we're going to fire up Cinema 4D, which we have here, and we're going to go under File or Edit Preferences. And here at the bottom, we, uh, if we have our Interface tab selected, you'll see that there's a button that says Open, open Preferences Folder. So we'll open that up, and we can minimize Cinema 4D. While we have that Preferences, it's, it's important to access it from within Cinema 4D because it's not labeled Preferences Folder outright as you were to explore through Windows Explorer. So once you've opened that, copy the Nitro Blast Styles uh, folder to this directory. All right, And at this point you're pretty much done. However, you'll need to restart your Cinema 4D. So let's close it down. Give it a second to exit. And then we'll start it back up. So now, in order to access your Nitro Blast plugin, create an object Here's a cube, for example, and go up top under Plugins, and you'll see Nitro Blast. Okay, you want to access Nitro Blast Main in order to get all the features of Nitro Blast. So once you do that, you'll see you've got a Nitro Blast menu, and uh, we're not going to get into detail here how to use this, but you can see that we've got a menu, we've got a cube that's selected, and we've got the number of um, pieces that we'd like to crack this cube into. So let's give it uh, 15 and then we'll hit Fracture. And at this point, it's, it's uh, fractured that cube into 15 pieces. If we were to push Play, you'll see that it's dynamic, and you can see the beginning of uh, some of the fractures that it's implemented. To get an idea of how that might work, we need to have a, a surface, a collider surface, for that uh, object to fall to. So we'll create a plane real quick, and we'll assign that plane a rigid body tag, or a simulation tag of a collider body. And we'll hit play, and you'll see that it's failed, and that now we have successfully installed Nitro Blast on our computer. So, guys, I hope that helps. And if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more in the future, please subscribe. All right, talk to you later. Bye bye.